Hello friends, I am Deepak Dash, Assistant Professor, Department of Geology, Ramakrishna Mahavidyalaya, Tripura. Today, I will be talk on plasma membrane, which is important topics of any course of biological sciences like BSc, MSc, need higher secondary level. Before going to detailed studies of plasma membrane, we need to memorize some basic concept of cell. Cells are the fundamental structural and functional units that the organism is composed of. In another way, we can define cell is a mass of protoplasm which is surrounded by a semi-permeable membrane. A cell can be divided in two parts. One is cytoplasm and another is nucleus. Good part is actually a protoplasm. So what is protoplasm? Protoplasm is a living physical basis of life since all the activities of living beings are the activities of protoplasm itself. In a microscopic studies, protoplasm appears as a clear, colorless, jelly-like, gelatinous substance which is polyphasic, colloidal system and semi-permeable in nature. Active protoplasm contains a high percentage of water varies from 75 to 90 percent and leaving out this water the solid matter of the protoplasm contains protein 40 to 60 percent, fatty acid 12 to 14 percent, carbohydrate 12 to 14 percent and inorganic salts 5 to 7 percent. There is a wide variation in the size of cells. The smaller cells are those of mycoplasma while large are eggs which store food for partial or complete development of the future embryo. Plasma membrane is a biomembrane that occurs on the outside of the cytoplasm into prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. It separates the cellular protoplasm from its external environments and helps in compartmentalization of the cells. Prokaryotic cells do not have internal membranes partitions while eukaryotic have. Plasma membrane was discovered by Swan in 1838. It was named cell membrane by Nagili and Kramer in 1855 and the name plasma lemma was given by Pro in 1931. This is a typical diagrammatic representation of a eukaryotic cells or animal cells its outermost surrounding is known as plasma lemma or cell membrane and it contains so many cell organelles like mitochondria which is considered is a powerhouse of cells endoplasmic reticulum the endoplasmic reticulum are also in two types rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum golgi vesicles lysosomes which is considered as suicidal organelles of the cells golgi apparatus Packaging part of a cells, nucleolus, centrioles, microtubules, ribosomes, which is known as protein factor of the cells. Chemical nature of membrane. This is a very important part to understand the nature of the plasma membrane. Chemically, plasma membrane is consist of lipids, proteins, and carbohydrates. 
chemically a biomembrane or plasma membrane consists of lipids 20 to 40 percent protein 59 to 75 percent and carbohydrate 1 to 5 percent which is least in compositions lipid the important lipids of the membrane are phospholipids sterols cholesterols glycolipids sphingolipids as for example sphingomyelin cerebrospine cerebrocytes the lipid molecules are amphipathic or amphipathic that is they possess both polar hydrophilic and non polar hydrophobic ends the hydrophilic region is in the form of a head while the hydrophobic part contains two parts of fatty acids hydrophobic tails usually occur towards the center of the membrane protein molecules also possess both polar and non polar side chains usually their polar hydrophilic linkage are towards the outer side the non polar or hydrophobic linkage are either kept folded inside or used to establish connections with hydrophobic part of the lipids this protein can be fibrous or globular structural carrier receptor or enzymatic like phosphatase atpase and nucleases in carbohydrates there are two types one is branched or unbranched oligosaccharide like hexose hexoamine and sialic acids this is a typical representations of a bio membrane which contains protein lipid and carbohydrate parts from time to time different workers explain the plasma membrane, plasma membrane structures among these laminar model is one of the pioneer model which is also known as sandwich model according to this model biomembrane are believed to have a stable layer structures this sandwich model or laminar models was described by daniel and debson model and robertson model or unique membrane model in case of daniel and debson model the membrane have four molecular layers two of phospholipids and two of proteins phospholipid form a double layer and covered on either side by a layer of hydrated globular or alpha protein molecules the hydrophilic polar heads of the phospholipid molecules are directed towards the proteins the two are held together by electrostatic forces the hydrophobic non polar tails of the two by two lipid bilayers are directed towards the center where they are held together by hydrophobic bonds and van der waal forces and this middle regions form a hydrophobic zones and the outer layer is formed hydrophilic zone in robertson model or unit membrane model of laminar model the lipid bilayer is covered on the two surfaces by extended or beta molecules a difference in the protein of the outer and inner layer was also proposed mucoprotein on the outer side and non mucoprotein protein on the inner side all cytoplasmic membrane have a similar structure of three layers with an electron transparent phospholipid bilayer being sandwiched between two electron dense layer of proteins all biomembranes are either made of a unit membrane or multiple of unit membrane it is also called trilaminal membrane because of three layers thickness of the about 75 angstrom with a central lipid layer of 35 angstrom thick and two peripheral protein layer of 20 angstrom each according to 
Robertson, if a membrane contain more than three layers or thicker than 75 angstrom, it must be a multiple of unit membrane. The most popular model which explain the plasma membrane is quick mosaic model and this model was proposed by Singer and Nicholson in 1975. The membrane does not have a uniform disposition of lipids and proteins but is instead a mosaic of the two. It is not solid but is quasi fluid. Protein molecules are occur at place both inside and outside of the lipid bilayer. The internal protein is called intrinsic or integral protein and account for 75% of total membrane protein and pass into the lipid bilayer to different depth. Some of intrinsic protein run throughout the lipid bilayer and are also known as tunnel proteins or channel or channel protein for the passage of water and water soluble molecules while the external proteins are called as extrinsic or peripheral protein these are the peripheral protein protein provides the structural and functional specificity to the membrane since the lipid bilayer is quasi fluid the membrane proteins may shift laterally and then provide flexibility and dynamism to the membrane this is the peripheral protein and this is the integral protein and some of integral protein are also form channel which is known as protein channels through which water and water soluble substance can move easily functions of plasma membrane what does plasma membrane play a role the major function of cellular membrane is compartmentalization of the cells they separate the cells from their external environment as organelles covering they allow the cells organelles to maintain their identity specific internal environment and functional individuality plasma membrane possess specific substances as its surface which function as recognition center and points of attachment membrane have carrier proteins for active transport cell membranes contain enzymes for performing certain reactions on their surfaces like atps phosphatases Certain cell membrane possess electron transport systems. Substance attachment to each membrane determine antigen specificity. In some cases, plasma as well as other membranes of the organelles have selective permeability. Membrane in folds are used for bulk intake material by endocytosis. Thank you for listening to me.